Hello Virgos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for December 16th through the 31st, 2018. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it will not fit for everybody, so don't try to force it. And um, as always, take what you want, leave what you don't. All right, can we get one card for Virgos for the next two weeks for Romance Angels? Please and thank you. All right, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. The bottom of the deck is romantic feelings. So the feelings that you are feeling right now are worth discovering. Or exploring, I mean. <laughs> discovering. Okay. So your first two cards out were the Six of Cups and the Eight of Swords. No longer feeling stuck by somebody of your past. Breaking the chains. The Emperor, nice. Your person that you are dealing with is the Four of Cups. The King of Pentacles. And the tower. The outcome, thank you, is strength. The three of cups. And the queen of pentacles. The bottom of your deck, there you are, Virgo. Making your appearance. Going within. Uh, deciding which direction you want to move in, deciding what you want to do with your life, um, finding the light of, or finding your inner light and um, following your divine path when you come out of this hermit. Um, this has to do with choosing a lover you have not picked. You are in a third party. Yes, you are. Um, you haven't made a decision on what direction you want to want to go in. Um, you could possibly be wanting to leave a Gemini or a Taurus or um, break a commitment from someone that you have a marriage with like or a long-term commitment with. Severing a contract of marriage. Um, so you had to go in this hermit mode to decide whether to end your marriage or long-term commitment or who to choose when it comes to love. Three major arcanas. Oops, what am I doing? That is a lot of major arcana. And then the next card out is the star. You need healing. And your cycles are not ending for some reason. There's something incompleted that you need to figure out in order to allow this um, cycle, this... Uh, this cycle, this chapter of your life, to let it, to let it go, to let it end. Um, yeah, you could be um, thinking, thinking of memories of the past, times when times were happier, times were um, a, a lot less heavy. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that you have known for a very long time, uh, somebody you have children with. But you're just kind of taking a step back. See how that person is on the steps watching those two children play? You could have children, and you're just kind of standing back and thinking uh, what to do from here. What is going to be best for them? Why is the Six of Cups here for Virgo? Yeah. So um, you are either um, thinking about a fire sign or um, hearing, or yeah, you're thinking of memories of your past with a fire sign you're thinking about uh you could be married to this person you could this could be the third person but you're trying to figure out how to move this these three people or you and your children or um you and your family to move it forward to get out of this place of being stuck but you're you're living in the memories while you're in this hermit mode. You're thinking back about this person. You could have blocked this person from sending you messages um, because they're not coming in. So either you're waiting to hear from them or you blocked them while you figure out what it is that you want in your future, what it is that you want to move in the direction towards. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah. So 
you have the eight of swords here. You're no longer um, allowing yourself to be imprisoned by your own thoughts. You're breaking free from that. You have awoken in this time of the hermit and you realize that you're no longer stuck. And if you want a second chance with somebody that you have been with in your past, you have to move out of that position of being stuck. You have to move forward. The divine is pushing you. Um, you are finding healing in this time. As you see the alchemist or the dropper there, they're healing. You have been in this position, but now you're allowing and accepting the divine to help you heal, to balance yourself out so that when you emerge from that hermit, you can be the emperor. You can be vibrating at a very, um, at the highest level possible. You can have everything figured out, the world in your hands. Where's the emperor here for Virgo? Yeah, you... You're very confident when you when you come out of this hermit mode, you'll be very confident in the direction that you want to look toward or that you want to move towards. You see the emperor looking at this fire sign. You most definitely could be dealing with an Aries um, or a Sagittarius or Leo. But you're looking towards this person and you want to move forward with this person. You want to conquer the world together. Um but for some reason, you have this person blocked out or they are not speaking to you. But when you, um, after you heal and you come out of that time of silence, uh, uh, away, ugh, can't speak. When you come out of that time of retreat, you want to move forward towards this person. Okay. Whoa. Why is the four cups here for Virgo's person? Okay, so um, the person that you are dealing with is the Four of Cups. They're not seeing something. All they're concentrating on is the hurt that was caused in the past. Yeah, they have other options here with their cups, but all they're thinking about is you. And they're trying to figure out why this happened, why this break is going on, why you blocked them from contacting you. Um, they are... They're sad. They're, um, there's a little bit of depression here. That's the next step. But they're, they're ignoring all their other options because the only option they want delivered this tower moment to them. They, they are very stable. They're very put together. They have a good job. They have, a, you know, they're very stable. They have a home. They have, on the, on the outside, they look very, uh, very appealing to everybody. They are very good looking. They're, they're very attractive. They have a lot of options for this group of you. But all they're wanting is the truth from you, Virgo. They're waiting to hear this truth from you because they feel they were lied to. They feel like they were deceived. They feel like you told them one thing and then you turned around and did that exact very thing that you said you wouldn't. And they want to know the truth. They want to hear the truth out of your mouth yeah, they have their stuff together. They have their life together. But what's holding them back from moving forward is you never gave them any closure. You never told them why you did this. You just took off. And now there's no communication. They're waiting for that communication. Why is the tower here? Ooh. Okay. So um, their next card out is the tower. An emotional shakeup. Something's going to happen. Uh... Things are going to come crumbling down, but you know, nothing solid can be built on a shaky foundation. So this had to come down. This is leaving the old way the relationship was in the past. This is leaving all the past and hurt in the past and not bringing it up continuously um, in the, in the present because it's just damaging what the potential future could be. Um, they are putting that behind them. They are putting behind the hurt that you caused them. Um, they're putting it in the past and they're moving forward. Um, they have made a decision, a conscious decision to, um, cause this, in this deck, they're not blindfolded. They are seeing all their options, um, or they are seeing their choice in front of them. And they are thinking very long and hard about which one they're going to choose, which choice has to be made. Um, they are leaving what happened to them in the past and, um, they are, they are, um, moving forward, 
ready to make a love offer to you, to somebody else. Let's see what that love, who that love offers to. Who's that love offer to? Oh my goodness. They're making a love offer to you, Virgo. They're putting it all out there. They are your blessing. They are your, um, they are waiting for the ships to come in because they know you're on that ship. Uh, yeah, you're going to receive an omen too through like a hawk, some sort of bird, but I can't believe that when I said, who are they making their love offer to, to you Virgo. So open your eyes that this person is a blessing to you. This fire sign is your soulmate, your, your, who you want to move towards. I mean, you have the queen of wands here. Um, yeah, this is definitely a fire sign you're dealing with. Fire sign or Scorpio. I feel you're leaving behind a spouse. Um, Cause you're going to have to make that decision when you come out of that retreat. Your outcome cards are the queen of pentacles, the three of cups and strength. There's the three of cups here. And the strength. Okay. So you could be dealing with another earth sign um, that you are currently um, at odds with. This could be your spouse. Heavy Taurus energy with the Hierophant as well here in reverse. But you're, you're battling this person um, pretty hard. There could be some hurtful things said. Um, there could be, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You're, they're just, they're just really, oh, what am I, cutthroat. That's what I'm thinking. Um, they could deliver some nasty messages to you or you to them. This is somebody, uh, that you are currently committed to. Um, somebody that has been nurturing the relationship for the pat in the past, but there's some very hurtful, um, energy here. Spirit is, um, wanting to remind you that you have control over the situation. This person could be um, manipulating you to think you don't have a choice to make you think that you have to stay, but, um, a card of Leo also, but you have eternal endless love waiting for you. So remember to be strong and, uh, and go for the love that you want to last a lifetime because it is here for you. You are eliminating the competition. You are eliminating the internal conflict that's going on in your head right now because in that time of hermit, you are being awakened to this connection. So you are getting rid of the third party. You are getting rid of your doubt, your confusion, and you're, you are facing your fears and moving forward. And when you do, there will be a cause of celebration and there will be a new beginning with this fire sign. Um, there will be passionately there. Something you guys are going to create together with a lot of passion is going to bring ce celebration and much success is what I'm hearing. Whoa. Yeah. So you are moving forward. You're moving on. You're moving out of the rough waters. You're leaving all this behind. And this, and you're going to move towards your highest vibration and somebody who is just as, uh, who vibrates or who energetically like jives with you. Um, this is a soulmate that you're dealing with, that you're moving towards. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Cups at the bottom. So you are moving on from the current uh, relationship that you are in. You are allowing this cycle to close with and allowing karma to, um, to be balanced out. And you're going to continue to battle, to fight, to move forward. Um, this person could put up quite the fight in a divorce hearing as well. But no fear because you have the wheel of fortune in the upright. Um, Sagittarius has the sun, Jupiter, and um, Mercury in it right now. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, uh, most definitely your guys' luck is in the 
way upswing, but it's time of movement. That is moving everybody forward, bringing everybody um, in the blessings that they are meant to have. And um, I know the three of wands is in there somewhere. There we go. And it's going to bring this fire sign um, that you are in separation from that you ha currently have blocked or they are blocking you. It's going to bring you um, your blessings. Your ships are coming in in the time of Sagittarius. Um, so this person is going to come forward and make a love offer to you or you to them, but it will be one um, that is worth making. This will be a relationship that's very successful that will last the test of time. This is a soulmate twin flame for you. Um, as soon as you leave and the hermit mode and make a choice between your lovers, um, you could be ending a relationship that has been a long term or a marriage and you're moving towards, um, your soulmate. So extend your lighthearted energy to that person that you have not been communicating with and allow yourself to speak the truth. Be open with this person and you will find much success. All right, Virgos, I hope you had a, or I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you have a great next two weeks. I will see you at the new year. God bless.